Um, hi guys, Top Hops here, and in today's video, we are going to be opening up every single one of these boxes. So let's get started! And if you guys are wondering, some of these packages are brand new, and then some of these packages are from a couple months ago, and I haven't really had time to open them up, so I figured let's just do it in one big video. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get started with the first box. Okay, so this first box that I've got here is coming in from the Funko Shop, and I've got a couple different Funko Shop boxes today, so I don't really know what's inside. Well, I know what's inside now. And this package here is actually from a little while ago, so I guess let's just go through these things here, starting with this, and ah, oh, it's damaged, but I can live with it. The two things inside of here were the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade stuff that I had ordered, and I got the Pocket Pop as well as the Normal Size Pop, and I'm noticing on this one I like to keep them in the box, especially because of that sticker, and it seems to be pretty damaged on the top. Which is too bad. Bad, but I'll probably just put it on the shelf and forget about it in a couple days. It's just cool that I'm able to have this in the collection. I really do enjoy that Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade sticker. Oh, and if you guys don't know, Funko actually had a float in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this year, and that's why they created the Pocket Pop, as well as this deluxe figure right here. And this is, again, Grogu at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and it's him as the balloon. And this year, I got my grandpa to watch the parade with me because we knew this float was going to be in it. And I'll be honest, I don't know if it was just repeating over and over again, but it went around the block like 10 times. And if you are unaware, this is pretty much exactly what the float looked like. Grogu kind of like chasing after or jumping towards the little control knob. And I wonder if Funko's gonna be in the Thanksgiving Day Parade next year with the same float or maybe a different one? I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, little higher, little higher, little higher. Oh, there you go. Got it. <laughs> And now this box right here is actually coming in from my friend Grant. And if you guys don't know, I ship all of the packages that won't ship to Canada to him, and then he ships them to me. It's a bit of a process, but at least I get my figures. And today it looks like they're not pops. Well, I guess they're pops, but a little bit different. Let me just show you. I ordered a bunch of the Funko Pop masks, because they went up on the Funko shop a little while ago. And I figured this would be kind of fun to have in the collection. And I don't know if they're gonna be good for thumbnails, or maybe TikToks, or just having them in general. They're kind of quirky. And I didn't just order one, I actually ordered a couple so we also got Pennywise then the next one here we've got Jack Skellington and then last but not least I got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and now this is actually my first time seeing them in person because they sold out on Amazon a long long time ago and the only place I could find them was the Funko shop and that was probably like a month or two after they had sold out on Amazon so this is them here and they really do look interesting they're not actually made by Funko they're made by another company called Disguise and from what I found Disguise actually makes a bunch of different Halloween costumes including masks like this. So it totally makes sense why they want to make pop ones. And here's what it looks like when you're wearing it. I'll be honest with you guys, I have no clue what this looks like in person. And also it's kind of awkward with my mouth because it's moving the whole mask up and down. And I hope you guys can hear me all right because these things are massive. It's almost like a giant cone that just bounces my voice that way. So I'm probably pretty muffled when I wear this thing. And you know what guys, this might be my Halloween costume next year. And also with me wearing this, I feel like I have to really use my hands to give off more expression because you cannot see my face at all. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> but anyways, let me know if you guys picked up any of the disguise masks because I'm enjoying them. Ooh, geez. Okay, so I'm looking at this pop here and it seems like they just fit it into the box. Like, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. It is like exactly at where the fold is on the cardboard. And I think I know why, because this is a company that doesn't normally ship out Funko Pops. This one here was, yes, the 21 Pilots 2-pack that was exclusive to their merch store. And you guys might have seen in videos, I wasn't picking up the common two because I've been waiting for this 2-pack for a while. And it seems like the box is in decent condition. It's just a little bit bent up at the top and the bottom. And if you guys want to check them out, there is the two of them right here and they actually really do look nice and I like that it's got this limited run sticker on there I've never seen that before like usually it says like limited edition or it gives you a number of how many it's limited to but the limited run I don't know it's kind of fun hey that rhymed and even though the box isn't in great condition I'm glad I waited because they really do look nice together like this actually everybody one more thing before we move on I'm noticing that this two-pack appears to be in the wrong line it is in the pop animation line not Pop Rocks? What's going on here, Funko? Oh, okay, this is a good one. This is one of the newer office figures that I needed for my collection. I guess I ordered this a while ago. Actually, no, I remember. I pre-ordered this like maybe like five or six months ago, and I guess it just shipped now. And if you guys are wondering which figure this is, this is the only at Target Dwight Schrute where he's got the blowtorch in his hand. And if you guys don't know the episode, or if you do, smoking's gonna save lives. And this here is just such a random figure, but I love the reference. And it's also cool because they're probably trying to make as many Dwight figures as possible. And this one is pretty different compared to the rest of them. He's down on one knee. He's got a blow 
blowtorch in his hand. It's just too bad he doesn't have a cigarette in the other one because it would have been really funny like right before he was about to throw it into the trash. But other than that, I really like this one. And if you guys are wondering about the back of the box, this is just in the newer set of figures. And you guys can see these are the commons that I've been collecting over the past couple months now. And there's nothing too crazy going on here. Okay, so this one here appears to be a Funko Shop exclusive because I don't know of any other company that ships them in a box like this. And I'm trying to figure out which pop this... Oh, I know which one this is. And it's a bit of a chase roulette. So let's see if we got that chase today. And I guess we'll just start with the one on the outside here, which would be that. Is it the chase? It is not. But it's still a cool figure. I actually didn't pick up the Cogsworth from the new set because I knew I was getting this one from the Funko shop, so I feel like I don't need both of them in the collection, especially if I get a chase, because then I'll have two extra ones in the set. And I think it's really cool how Funko made it look like he's popping out of the cobbler, and then he also has a bunch of, like, blue on the side to make it look like it's all over him. It's pretty cool. Okay, and now let's get into this next one here to see if we got the chase. And I'll show you guys first, and then I'll check it out after, and there you go. Is it the chase? Please be the chase, please be the chase, please be the... <laughs> Okay, this is sick. And you guys can see that it is kind of black and white and he does have his eyes a little bit lower. Okay, that's weird. Oh, no, no, it is on the pop too. I was thinking that it wasn't. It was hard to see with the kind of glare on it from the like clamshell insert, if that's the word you would use. But this is just too sick that I was able to get the chase. So that's awesome that I only ordered two and I was able to get the chase in the common. So I don't have to worry about getting any more of them, even though I probably wouldn't have if I got two commons, but you know what I mean. And I didn't know that the box was gonna be black and white as well. And if you guys wanna check out the figure a little bit better there, it is right there and you guys can see that is what the side of the box looks like pretty nice now this box here is another Funko shop one and it can't be anything too crazy because it wasn't that heavy and oh you know what this is a good one this is a pop pin that I ordered a little while ago and I believe it was an LA comic-con exclusive and this one was the only one that I was really on the hunt for and this here is the Jack Skellington in his day of the dead look I guess you could say and um, if you guys want to check him out there he is right there and I believe that this one also glows in the dark but I'm not gonna take it out right now just because we've got a lot of stuff to go through today and I believe that this is the only Nightmare Before Christmas pin that we've got so far. So Funko, if you're thinking of making more, please do. Target. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize the pop was so close to the top, so I'm glad I didn't cut this thing. Oh, I did cut it. <laughs> oh, great. And to let you guys in on a little secret, whenever I do those close-up cuts, I do it a couple times just to make sure I get a good one for the video, and it looks like we cut this thing not once, not twice, but three times. The good news is it's not that obvious that I didn't cut too deep into the box and you can hardly see it when you're looking at it straight on but this one here is the Doug with puppies and I've been waiting on this one for a bit so it's too bad that I kind of nicked it a little bit and you know what looking at this figure it really does look great especially because they made the base of it grass and I remember watching this short because they weren't that long I decided to watch the entire thing in one day and uh, you know what this is a pretty nice one and also pretty accurate to the actual episode it's got all of the puppies on top going different directions which is really funny especially because it looks exactly like this in the episode and then it's also got the grass base which looks really nice. Another big box coming through. Now, I want to preface this by saying this is not a Funko box. This is actually one from NECA. They said this over a little while ago, and it's just a bunch more of their figures, and I have no clue what's inside, so I thought we could do it today. And I guess we'll start with this one here, which is Napoleon and Alita. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And if you guys want to check out the two-pack a little bit closer up, here is both of them right here. And these are bigger action figures, probably at about, I want to say, like the five to six inch mark. And then next up here, we've got this massive box coming in from the show Gargoyles. And this here is Goliath Ultimate Action Figure. Let me see what this thing looks like. Wow, this is cool. And now if I'm not mistaken, I believe that this actually is Goliath. And if you guys want to check him out, there is the front of the box. And then when you open it up, there he is inside. Like seriously, this thing is detailed. And then this next one that we've got here is from, oh, Halloween Kills. Now I actually saw this movie with a couple of friends, so it's cool that I've got the figure for it. And again, if you guys want to check it out there it is right there and i'm loving that it comes with a couple heads as well as a few weapons it's pretty neat and then it looks like there is also another turtles one inside of here and this thing is super heavy it's from turtles the colossal chrome dome and what is this figure what the heck now i don't know if this is like an episode thing or if this is the name of the actual character but if you guys want to check it out there is the colossal chrome dome right there like seriously this thing is heavy and if i were to guess this thing's more like eight maybe nine inches tall something around there like like, this thing is massive. And then, everybody, the last thing that we've got inside of here is... Oh, this is one figure! Um, I thought that this was a bunch of smaller ones. No, this is one massive 15-inch... Are you guys ready for this? Donatello! <laughs> 
okay, I did not expect this at all. I saw it from the side and I just assumed it was gonna be a bunch of smaller turtle stickies, maybe like a big like six pack or something, but no, it is a massive, massive turtle. And it says Donatello with bow staff, communicator, pizza slices, and more, fully posable 15 inch giant turtle. Like seriously, this is sick. And I'm wondering if they made other turtles like this as well, because it'd be really cool to see all four of them together. Oh wow, you can even swap the tops and bottoms of their head to have like a different mouth with different eyes. Kind of odd, but I like it. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there is the diagram like there. Like seriously, that's pretty creative. Oh, and looking on the bottom here, they do make all four of them if you guys want to check it out. The real reason I was looking on the bottom though was to see if somebody I know designed it. And he did. If you guys ever buy a NECA figure and see Trevor Zamet on the bottom there, I've actually put him into videos a couple times and you guys can see there is his name across the bottom so Trevor pretty cool and I know a little while ago Trevor said he watched every day and I don't know if he still does but if you do hi Trevor how's it going you make really cool turtles <laughs> Now this package here is a lot smaller than the last one. I've got no clue what's inside. So I guess let's just find out here. Oh, this is a pretty good two pack. I took all the labels off a little while ago, so I had no clue which box was which, but this one here is the Pop in a Box exclusive Ellie and Carl from Up. And you guys are actually asking me a while ago if I got this one and yes, I did. And if you guys want to check them out together, there they are right there. And they really are some nice ones. And I'm wondering if their hands are connected in the middle. No, it seems like they're separate. So if you wanted to have them apart, you totally could. But I think if you're going to be displaying these out of the box, you better be displaying them together because it would look so awkward with them like across the room. But why would you anyway? Actually, before I cut into this, you guys probably noticed it's a sorter. I don't have the bigger box for it. I don't really know where it went. So I guess close enough. And the reason I don't have the bigger box for it is because this was supposed to be a Christmas gift for Noah and then I threw it under my table so he wouldn't see it and then I forgot to give it to him. I gave him a bunch of other things, but this was supposed to be an extra thing inside. And so if you guys are wondering which figure this is, it is the Box Lunch exclusive Itachi with Crows because he is trying to get every single Naruto Funko Pop ever and he's pretty close. So I like to pick up the weird and obscure ones whenever I can. And by weird, I mean they don't ship to Canada. So I gotta do some fancy footwork to get these things. This one here is actually the newest die-cast Funko Pop, and I'm trying to collect every single one of them, and so far, I'm up to date. And the one that we've got today is the brand new Wonder Woman one, and I'm actually really excited to see what this thing looks like in person. Especially because of all of the small parts this one has, like the shield as well as the sword. And if you guys want to check it out, there is the front of the box right here, and you guys can see it's got a lot of small parts. And you know what? A little while ago, I had seen some leaks for new die-cast figures coming out. I think they were the Falcon Captain America as well as Darth Vader, and if they do come true, I'll definitely be picking them up. And now I guess let's see what this figure looks like in person And one thing I'm a little worried about is that the base is gonna fall off as soon as I take it out and you know what it did Why does it do this? I don't know what it is with the newer diecast figures But for some reason all of them except for the Captain America one seems to slide off the base Maybe they're too heavy, but I think focus should just make them click in just a little bit better But anyways, if you guys want to check out this one here. Oh, this makes sense Okay, so they put like a little bit of foam around the sword so it doesn't like scratch up And is it made of metal? Yeah, it is and this actually looks really really nice And I love how solid this figure is too And if you guys want to check it out out of the box there it is right there And I know it looks like a normal Funko Pop, but as soon as you bang it on the table and I'm not going to do it too hard but that is definitely made of metal and I seriously think that Funko was doing an amazing job with their die cast figures and if you guys want to check it out a little bit closer up with the outside acrylic part on here it is right here Got it. Now this one here is from the Funko shop and I'll be honest, I don't really know what it is, but it seems like it's just a single figure. So I guess I'll show you guys first and then I'll be surprised after. So here we go, you guys ready? And there it is. What is it? Is it something good? It is, oh. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't remember ordering a second one. Maybe I did, but I don't think I would have done that. Actually saying that, I definitely would have done that. I just don't remember ever ordering two. Cause I swear I ordered it the day it came out, so why would I have ordered a second one? Well, because it's a Funko Shop exclusive, I would have had to have shipped it to Grant, so maybe he put it in my box by accident. Grant, is this your Thanos? <laughs> but then again, it could be mine. Ah, uh, okay, so this one here, very similar to Thanos, is a double. Now, I do know that this one I did order myself, and what had happened was, this was, well, a little while ago. I think I did a video maybe like a month or two ago where I got my mom to go over to Toys R Us, so that way she could pick up a couple figures for me, because I 
wasn't able to go that day, and I said just pick up everything in this photo, but I forgot to say don't get the Gringotts head bank because I already have one coming from Target. And I believe it had already shipped at that time, so I wasn't able to cancel my order. And it's still a really nice figure, it's just too bad that I've got two of this one, and I don't have any other one from this set yet. Because if you guys don't know, for a little while, Target had this thing where if you didn't like agree to their pushback on the pre-order, they would just cancel it completely, and it happened to one of my orders with these guys in it. I believe it was both the Ginny as well as Hagrid set, so I'm gonna need another way to get those two. And this one here is part of the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Mickey Mouse on Space Mountain. And I also saw that there is the Space Mountain attraction coming out that was exclusive to Amazon, and I already pre-ordered that one. So as soon as it comes in, I will be doing an unboxing for you guys. And I'm noticing here, and it's not a huge deal, but this is a lot smaller than I expected, especially with how big the box is. But no matter, because I still wanted to get the figure, and I feel like they're just putting them all into this, like, generic pop ride size instead of changing the box all the time, so it makes sense. FYE. And like I shouted two seconds ago, this is coming in from FYE, and I do think it's kind of weird how they put FYE tape on the outside, and then also, they're shipping this in, like, foam, and then that's it. And if you guys are wondering which figure I ordered, it was the FYE exclusive Michael Scott as Willy Wonka, and I'm actually so glad that I was able to get this one. Oh, you know what? This was another one from the new set that I didn't have, so I guess I was missing a couple, because I mentioned it in yesterday's video that the only one I was missing was the specialty series Creed Chase, but I guess I was also missing these two, but I've got them now. Like, I knew I had ordered them, but I don't think I mentioned that in yesterday's video, so it might have been a little bit confusing for a couple of you guys if you've been keeping up with my collection in this set. And I love the amount of detail they put into this ticket because it says entitles customer to 10% off your total order for one year. And isn't it where like in the episode one company gets it and they get like 70% off their order for the entire year, which means Dunder Mifflin is losing a lot of money. All right, everybody, this is the last box of the day. Let's find out who it is. And this is, oh, good one, wait. We don't talk about him. No, but in all seriousness though, guys, this is a really great figure. This is Bruno from Encanto, and I'm so excited that I was able to get this one, especially because I saw that it was selling out most places. And as soon as I had watched the movie, I went online to see if I could find him, and funny enough, they actually had him on GameStop Canada, so I got him for like 20 bucks when he's going for around $90. Which is crazy, and I love this figure, especially because he has the rat in his hand, and it's too bad he doesn't have, like, more rats on him, but I think it still looks great. Oh, and I just noticed that Funko put him into this pose where he looks almost nervous, where, like, one foot is on top of the other, and I don't think I've ever seen that on a pop before. And now the only figure that I'm missing from the set is Antonio, and once I've got him, I've got the entire family, or at least the entire family that they've created so far. Funko, you better make the rest of them. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today, and let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite thing that I opened up today? Because for me, it's gonna be either the Grogu from the thing Thanksgiving Day Parade or Bruno because I have been waiting on that one for a while. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. School. On a school. 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 Baby gonna school. School. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Hey. Lama Lassie.